Hi everyone, this is Chandra. Welcome back to my channel. I was gone for a week. I, for whatever reason, this year has never happened to me before. I felt the effects of daylight savings time uh, change, the time change. I was feeling just really run down. So I just took some time off, you know, took some, got some rest, um, you know, took it easy. So here I am, I'm back. I'm thankful that I'm back. So what I want to talk to you today about is um, remaining vigilant. And what I mean specifically by that is that, you know, right now um, we're being told that the, the virus is waning, that it's okay to take your mask off, it's okay to resume your normal activities. You know, restaurants and bars and other establishments are no longer no longer asking for um, vaccine proof. So, you know, we're all eager to some extent to get back to, to business as usual, to get back to uh, quote unquote normal. When the fact of the matter is, we're still as vulnerable as we ever were to, um, to this virus, to, to getting sick. So my concern is that we remain vigilant and we, there are so many ways to, to do that. And I know it's really difficult. It's been a long, long two years. We are eager to spend time with our friends, with our family, members to just get out you know let your hair down rip that mask off you know do whatever it, it takes to feel feel right again but now is the time to really continue to be conservative in your movements to be proactive in terms of taking care of yourself so I'm going to suggest uh, three things that we really all really need to continue to do. And uh, the first one is lay low, you know. It is wonderful, you know, to socialize, especially if you're someone that lives by, lives by yourself. You know, it's hard to remain isolated for long. You wanna get out, you wanna see your friends, you wanna go to your old favorite places. And I think you can do that. I just think that it's important to still remain conservative in your movements. If you want to meet your friends, do it outdoors for a very short period of time. You know, we don't get enough of outdoors, so there's nothing wrong with doing that at all. If I meet up with anyone anytime soon, it will be outdoors and it will be for a very brief period of time. We want to, um, you know, continue uh, eating at our, our favorite restaurants and things like that. If you decide to do that, you know, take your order out, order it out, go pick it up, take it back home, eat, eat it at home. Or try to go during off-peak times at restaurants, uh, malls, whatever it is that you do. It's very important to keep in mind that we're still vulnerable and we need to act as if we are still vulnerable. This is a big one because right now, because of you know, rumors of a, a World War III, um, because of the conflict in Ukraine, um, gas prices have gone up. Gas prices have skyrocketed. So that's going to affect you and your own bottom line. And food prices were already high, but these gas prices are going to drive food prices up even more. So now is a good time to reallocate the money that you would spend on entertainment, you know, movies, restaurants, bars, and put that money into getting as much 
um, non-perishable or foods that will, you know, pres that are easily easy to preserve. Get those foods and keep them on hand. It will save you a lot of money in the long run where things may still be somewhat affordable right now. You never know what's around the corner. It's best to be prepared, you know, better safe than sorry. So stock up on um, food, you know, dry beans, lentils, if you eat rice and if you eat pasta, those kinds of things are, are great to have around. Uh, another thing that I find typically to be, you know, a bit expensive are seasonings. I love to cook with, um, with herbs and they're expensive. They can be very expensive and they're going to get even more expensive. So stock up on, on herbs and spices. Make sure you have plenty of bottled water in your house. It's just good to have, you know, the, your, the water quality in your area may or may not be that great. Um, you want to stay hydrated, definitely to keep your health together and just in general. So have a few cases of bottled water around if possible. So stock up on your dry goods, bottled water, make sure that you have uh, anything that you need to take care if you get sick, like, uh, you know, pain relievers, cold medicines, alcohol, cotton swabs, anything that you, you may or may not need to administer care to yourself or your loved ones. And these are just basics. You know, there are people out there, if you, you know, um, do a search on YouTube that are all about disaster prep. That's all they do. That's all they spend all their money on. And I think that that is good if you can afford it. I think that's good if you're in a position to do that. Not everyone is. And looking at those, those people talk about what they're doing can send you into a state of panic, but there's really no need because there are some situations for which none of us will truly ever be prepared. So you do the best you can. You know, if you pray, pray. If you, if you know how to uh, keep your mind from going into a, an anxious or a nervous place, do all of that. It's important to stay calm and to get as prepared as you can. And if, it's, if your preparation doesn't involve material goods, your mind is as good as anything else. Get your mind prepared for anything that can happen. You know, one of the things that we can very easily take for granted is our physical condition. It's easy if you have a desk job. It's easy if you are just extremely busy to stay in shape. But it is more important now than ever to get in shape and stay in shape. Your physical fitness is tied to your immune system. The more in shape you are, the more robust your immune system is and will be. Even if you only have 15, 20 minutes a day to spare, spend that time weight training. Get some weights at home, you know, get a, get a couple of 10 or 15 pound uh, free weights, work your arms, get some resistance bands. They're great for working your legs out if you don't have uh, workout equipment or access to a gym. Stay in shape, walk as much as you can, do some jumping jacks, whatever, whatever it takes. Start improving your fitness level today because your life could depend on it for a variety of reasons. So this is not, you know, a, a doom and gloom speech. This is me trying to encourage you to take good care of yourself. Even if things dramatically improve with these viruses, these virus strains that are out there, even if things level off with the conflict in Ukraine, there's still you and your family to take care of. 
Things aren't getting any cheaper. Life hasn't, hasn't gotten any easier. And the best way to respond to that is to take care of yourself by eating right, staying in shape, maintaining a healthy environment around you. And don't feel pressure to um, socialize if you're, if you're not ready. Do what you have to do to take care of yourself, to look after yourself and your loved ones. So I just wanted to leave you with that. I hope it helps and um, I want you to take care of yourself and I will talk with you soon.